SEC. Defense Gilberto Teodoro met with German Member of Parliament Dr. Johann Wadifel at DND 5 February 2024. Dr. Wadifel urged the creation of a permanent defense and armed forces attaché in the Philippines to enable closer defense ties between the two countries. Germany voiced its support in upholding international maritime law under UNCLOS and imposing a rules-based order while the Philippines briefed on the new comprehensive archipelago defense concept and on the AFP modernization program under the Reed Horizon 3 phase. Max Defense Philippines believes that these steps are in line with Germany's plans to participate in supplying the Philippines with weapon systems as part of RAFPMP. The Germans are known to have previously offered some of their hardware to the armed forces of the Philippines, such as the MECO series of small surface fighters, OPVs, Corvettes and Frigates, Type 212 submarines, and IRIS TGBADS and air-to-air -air missiles launched. It has also made an introductory note to a joint Eurofighter EF-2000 participant with the UK, although no comprehensive official agreement has yet been made. Recently Germany has been selling German license produced AIM-9Ls. I-1IR short-range air-to-air missiles from Deal Defense arming the FA-50PH against Eagle, as well as naval subsystems including TRS-3D and Sharpie naval radars from Hensoldt, and ammunition and different products from Rheinmetall and Sun's South African company Rheinmetall Danel. Man military vehicles Rheinmetall also provides military trucks as part of other projects such as the Philippine Army's Dry Support Bridge. Both sides underscored sustainability and resilience in modernizing each country's armed forces, and put a premium on public-private sector synergy as one of the most effective means of cooperation. Touching on the Philippines' defense capability development priorities, the SND highlighted area denial, maritime domain awareness, air defense, and cybersecurity in the AFP modernization program. Other matters discussed during the call include the Philippines Network of Defense and Security Partners, ASEAN Centrality in Regional Security, the migrant situation in Germany, diversification of energy sources amid a geopolitically volatile world, and the Philippine government's promotion of tourism in Europe.